Hello friend, welcome to my channel 5 Minute Pediatric. Today I will discuss a case related to neonate. So the case was related to single term male delivered by LSCS cried immediately after birth. The child was in front of diabetic mother and polycythemic. On day 7 of life, he develops hematuria. And on examination, flank mass is failed. So what is diagnosis and how would you approach to this case? So the diagnosis is renal vein thrombosis. Okay. Now let's discuss renal vein thrombosis. So renal vein thrombosis actually there is thrombotic occlusion of one or more both renal veins resulting in acute kidney injury or chronic kidney disease. It occurs predominantly in newborn and mostly in first week of life. Bilateral renal vein thrombosis can occur up to 30% of cases. So the affected units are usually full term and large for gestational age. There is increased incidence among infant of diabetic mother and males are more affected than females. The additional risk factor for renal vein thrombosis includes perinatal asphyxia, hypotension, polycythemia, there is increased blood viscosity and cyanotic congenital heart disease. So how it is uh, present? So um, uh, the most common presentation includes flank pain, flank mass and hematuria uh, along with uh, proteinuria, thrombocytopenia and renal dysfunction. Diagnosis is usually made by ultrasonography and color dog blood. Coagulation profile uh, is deranged that is prolonged and FDP for, uh, that is fibrin degradation product are also increased. Complication of renal vein thrombosis includes hypertension, renal vein thrombosis, adrenal hemorrhage, extension into the extension into the IVC, and finally death. So, what are the management? Uh, management depends upon the involvement of renal vein, whether it is unilateral or bilateral, or whether uh, it is causing renal dysfunction or not. So, you will understand through this better. Uh, renal, if it is unilateral without uh, significant renal dysfunction or without extension into the IVC, in that condition you have to give supportive care and uh, you have to monitor it closely radiologically. Okay, if it is unilateral with renal dysfunction or extension into the IVC and bilateral RVT involvement without renal dysfunction. Or extension into the IVC in that condition, you have to give therapeutic anticoagulation therapy uh, with uh, ultra fractionated heparin or low molecular weight heparin for six weeks to three months. And if it is bilateral involvement with significant renal dysfunction, then you have to first go for thrombolysis with DC plasmidin activator followed by anticoagulation therapy with uh, ultra fractionated heparin or low molecular weight, uh, weight heparin. If it is severe renal failure, then you have to choose uh, ultra fractionated heparin instead of uh, low molecular weight. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, kindly like, subscribe, and follow my channel. Thanks, thanks for watching.